Kieran, Kyle, I wanted to post this video to explain how I did Smathers volume training back in the day. This cardboard you see here kind of will explain how I did it. So here's how it goes. First of all, it's called Smathers volume training. It was the summer of 2015 when I was 27 years old. And here's the split. Let me see if I can get the other cardboard piece. Okay, if you can see the split, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This is how it started out. Legs, upper. Or lower body, upper body. Lower body, upper body. Lower body, upper body. Lower body. And... As I increased more and more and more and more and more sets, the split wound up being like this because workouts were taking so long that I had to split them up to be time efficient. So it's it was Monday, legs. Tuesday, uh, biceps, triceps, and a little bit of chest. Wednesday, legs, or lower body. Tuesday, back and chest. Friday, lower body. Saturday, shoulder and back. Saturday or Sunday, lower body. Okay? Now I'm going to explain why this became this. All right? So I'm going to flip this out of here. So here's uh, the lower body workout. So I would start off with uh, back squats, four sets of ten. Standing calf raises, three sets of 10. Leg extension, superset with leg curls, three sets of 10. Standing calf raises with barbell, three sets of 10. And I believe I added lunges too. I added lunges and I added stiff-legged deadlifts. But here's kind of how the flow of the workout was. I got this permanent marker here. Basically... You do the lower body, I started Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, and again, this program is extremely extreme. It's probably the most extreme thing you've ever seen, but it delivered me the best results I've ever done. So, Monday I did this session, and then when Wednesday comes around, I would add a set here, alright? And then when Friday, you go Friday... You add a set here, and you add a set here, okay? And then Sunday comes around, you'll add a set here. And then when back to Monday, I would add a set here. And then to Wednesday, I would add a set here. And then Sunday comes around... I would add a set here and work my way up the, the exercise schedule. But here is the pro. I mean, yes, this delivered me great results, guys. But what happened was workouts that were once one hour became an hour and a half. Workouts that were once an hour and a half became two hours. And before I knew it, Training sessions were becoming 3 hours and 45 minutes. Okay. Now I'm going to flip on to the upper body section. Let me see if I can. Here it is. Alright. Here's the uh, upper body section. And everything was pretty much the same. Except on Tuesday I would do the flat bench press. Thursday I would do the overhead press and Saturday I would do the deadlift so I would so this is the Tuesday when it started out start out with the flat bench press four sets of 10 and these lines indicate sets okay and then I would do dips three sets of 10 incline dumbbell press three sets of 10 superset with bent rows then incline bicep curls, three sets of 10, supersetted with skull crushers. Inner forearm, supersetted with outer forearm. Shrugs, supersetted with side laterals. Forearm curls, supersetted with tricep ropes. 
And again, I did the same concept that I did on the legs. I would maybe add, I would train this way Tuesday, and then when Thursday came around, I would add a set here, and I would add a set here. And then Saturday would come around, and then I would add a set here, and then I would add a set here. And I would work my way up as I went further and further into the program. Now, what was happening with the upper body is that switch, going from one station to another station was taking time. So it, it made it more efficient to do the bro split. Uh, let me go. Here's the back here. Like I took all those uh, back exercises and I put it here and here. I took all my bicep exercises and I moved them right here. Took all the tricep exercises and moved them here. Okay. Now I'm going to send you a link of, of how it, how the program changed. What did stay in place though was I, I did pull ups after every set of this program. Okay. And uh, another thing I wanted to show was, let's see, by the end of the program, this is my calculation. On legs, I was doing, by the end of it, I was working, I worked up to 200 sets on legs, 53 sets. Oh, by the way, these are the weekly sets. So I did 80 sets, 86 sets a week on triceps. 52 sets a week on biceps, 115 on back. And by the way, that's pro there's probably more because I think pretty much after every set of almost every exercise I did, I did about two or three pull-ups to go with it. So this is probably like well over 200. Calves, 53 sets a week. Legs, 200 sets a week. Okay. Now this was a super insane program. Guys, it was a super insane program, but it delivered me insane results. I grew an inch over on every single body part. Every single body part, I grew over an inch in muscle in thickness. Um, what else do I want to add? Um, I mean, the thing is, it's not time efficient. It was taking me three hours and 45 minutes a day seven days a week, and I think I did this for about four weeks, and after that fourth week, I was so fried. I, I think I went like, I went four days afterwards of no training whatsoever. I was that beat up. I went four days, four days of no training because I was just that overtrained. So uh, I'm going to try to send, I don't know if I have any pictures. I, I do have a video at kind of the middle of it. I was a lot fatter, a little fatter back then. I don't know how I'm going to include it in this video, but I'm going to add it. So, uh, all right, guys. Bye-bye.